Hey, welcome everyone. I'm Ying Coco and welcome to Gloom. Uh, I have not played this game in four years, uh, but for those of you who don't know, and I bet any of you do, because it was, well, over four years ago, it was like my first ever series on my English channel, Gloom. I think it was my first series. Uh, well, long story short, I stopped uploading at one point, like entirely for like three years until my mildly recent comeback a year ago with LEGO Star Wars. And now that I actually finished LEGO Star Wars, I was wondering what games to play in the meantime before we begin free play. And I remember, oh yeah, Gloom, I never really did finish that game. And well, it's it's a really good game. It's a pretty hard game though. It's a roguelike, by the way. It's a roguelike with some melancholic tones. Uh, you can probably tell by the like the starting screen, the menu screen. It seems my progress got like reset when I changed setups. Um, I would say that's unfortunate, but I was gonna reset my like wipe my save anyway. Oh, but without further ado, let's just start. Okay. Sometimes, before I fall asleep, a fear begins to creep. At this time, I count no sheep. Instead, I start to weep. To flee, I need a silver key. But sadly, while I'm dreaming, the parasite is pulled now on me until I wake up screaming. Intro from Poems of the Collective Dream by Wake. This game also has like a banger soundtrack. By the way, if you cannot tell. Another dreamer drifted into the wrong nightmare, or perhaps you are here on purpose. You don't remember? That does tend to happen here. Whatever the case, you may find answers deep within that deeper down, within the abyss. When you die, and you will die, we may meet again here. Best of luck, dreamer. Okay, so yeah. Uh, when they said you will die, you will die. This game is so fucking hard and unforgiving. And I will probably play like several like runs in just one episode. Uh, I don't even remember how to attack. Okay, it's like I already got hit. Oh, there's a touch button. There is no controls. There is no heavy attack. Is this a parry? Oh, I'm using like bullets. Um. Oh, that also uses a bullet. Yeah, that's a parry. Okay, so you can parry by using a bullet, or you can actually just shoot a bullet. Okay. So yeah, this is okay. Just an item. Map to Sumber, Salesman Hat, or Sentient Bluff. Uh, Here is when you could use a Necronomicon to know what the fuck you're getting. But man, this music is so fucking loud. <laughs> uh, let's go with the map to Sumber. Uh, let's go with the map to to Sumber. Protective Art of Light. Map to Somber, protective aura of light. The hidden country of Somber is so secretive and independent that very few even know its location, let alone have visited it. Uh, soon after the divine plague hit Domhouse Kingdom, Somber went completely dark, cutting all contact within, with the outside world. The Saint assembled a small military squad led by an ex Somber Mind to reboot Somber Might to reboot the connection. However, the group never returned. Somber's occult connections are common knowledge. And rumors say that the Somber Mites anchored the god, who then laid destruction on Somber, much like what happened on Dumbhouse Kingdom. This map is geographically, geographically incorrect, and unless it's finding Somber, and useless in finding Somber, however, it is said to protect the searcher on their way. Ah, oh, protective aura of light, it said. Okay. Oh god, I, I absolutely got. Ah, Jesus, this game is... Uh, I, I didn't, like, you know, account for the fact that my commentary would be really off. 
because I have to like, you know, this game is hard. Oh god, I'm gonna die already. I'm almost dead. Uh, I don't remember how to heal. I don't think I can even heal. I'm dead. <laughs> oh god. I'm, I'm just getting slapped while I'm dead. You perish in a dream. Oh, okay. Uh, dog. Dog. Meow. 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 Yeah, that's a cat, alright. Shop. Token shop. Okay, you can start with a... Yeah, random stuff. I don't have tokens though. Flame, oh flame, who is to blame? The forest full of beasts that maim. Tell me, flame, what is their name? It doesn't matter, it's all the same. Okay. Nothing really interesting. Okay, let me check the controls. Um, okay, shoot, parry, attack, interact, dodge, jump, and move. Okay, yeah, I figured out the controls, I guess. Uh, I just have to get better. <laughs> I see, I see. You, yeah, there is no hope. The cult of Satanial won't let anyone descend the dream. I wonder what they get, why they even gain from doing so. Okay. Uh, well, down we go again. If you're having a hard time staying alive, prioritizing health replenishing items. Priorita prioritize health replenishing items. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Man. Yeah, my commentary is not gonna be great because I need to actually. Ooh. Felling axe. Null matter? Bigger plus one. I see. Okay, well, you know the drill. The Null One is supposed is the supposed creator of everything we know, including all the cosmic deities. It is said that the Abyss, the deepest possible dream, is the purest representation of the Null One. It's unclear whether the Null One has any form of intelligence. Some say it's just a concept, the space itself or, or the mindless existence everywhere. To speak of the nature of the Null One is a waste of time, as it's incomprehensible to those who haven't walked the cosmic way. Okay, yeah, give me more dogs that are like not a threat at all. Plus one token. Nice. Fuck. I wish there was a jump attack. This game feels like it could really use a jump attack. I didn't have stamina. Man, I cannot cancel my attacks either. That's gonna get really tricky really quickly. Fuck, wrong button. I don't have stamina. Man, stamina management is gonna be a big issue here. I'm so used to Elden Ring combat that I, I jump and really, really wanna fucking, you know, uh, jump attack. Okay, I need to regain my stamina. Okay, shop. Uh, I can kill you, but I won't. Uh, what do you have to say? Greetings, streamer. I advise to buy. I you. I advise you to buy something. Experiment with unfamiliar items, they may end up saving your life. Blooded knife, gateway, gateway? Dream fragment, potion, cell bullets. Oh! Oh, one gold for two bullets? That is. Okay. Give me the blooded knife. Uh, what's a blooded knife? Bloodied knife. Continuous attacks deal increased damage. The oracle was pregnant with a, with a what? With a Herfis child, her first child. Ramar, who would be the heir to the throne. She and the king were loved by most, but not all. But not by all. 
as one day he was assassinated in the royal gardens, it was never discovered who the killer was, and thus they were never brought to justice. The aging king was left in sorrow with no heir and unwilling to remarry. However, all legends of the kingdom spoke of ways to retrieve what was once lost. Okay, Jesus. I feel like I have to parry this. Nah, never mind. Okay. Smith, you, okay. I can upgrade my. Oh. But I can change weapons. Wait, the Bloody Knife was an actual. Okay, give me the rapier. Give me the. Give me the. Oh, it's 20. Give me the rapier. Uh, does this have a low attack? Nope. But it has range. Uh, what do you know? Oh goodness, it's you. Funny for us to meet my here, my leech. When here, I shall provide my full services to thee. After all, it's all I've ever known. Oh, wrong direction. Okay. I do remember I had this same issue during my first like uh, playthrough of sorts. Oh, nice. Strength plus one. Sweet Sataniel, please accept this vessel as thine own. Take form and reward us for our devotion towards thee. Okay. I didn't dash in time. Ah, oh, that's a lingering hitbox. Fuck, I was so close. Okay, this boss is pretty easy. If I remember correctly, the bosses in this game weren't that big of an issue. The issue was like getting to the bosses. Uh, you can probably notice how hard the fucking game is. Random upgrade material, rage weapon. Uh, let's just start normally. What do you know? May we meet in the fray, friend? I surely have something special for you. Okay. You have a Molotov? You fucking asshole. Plus 5 gold, that's pretty nice. Okay, at least I can stun lock the enemies. So that's a plus. And they, know they don't have that much HP usually. But hopefully this run we can get to the second area. Yeah, not an issue. Rosalind Pipette, Sentient Blood, Saint Stone Wing. Uh, sure, Rosalind's Pipette, Pipette, whatever. Random startup and something. So what's the lore? Rosalind's Pipette, random startup and start shuffle. Ooh, this is fucking uh, experimental treatment. Among the more notable inhabitants of the amphitheater, right, is Rosalind, a biologist and chemist from Haven who enter the amphith amphitheater to perform her experiments free of morals and judgment of others. She was intrigued by the spirit of the Wendigo that occasionally possesses beings and grants them paraphysical powers. Her quest to imitate the phenomenon biologically gave birth to an albino parasite that would supposedly elevate the powers of its host. Unfortunately for her, the devious parasite managed to escape and now stalks a nearby forest searching for potential hosts. Ooh. Fuck. Two hits just like that? Three. Oh no, I didn't have iframe iframes, I didn't have stamina. Ah, 
<laughs> okay. This game would benefit a lot from jump attacks, let me tell you. <laughs> I wonder if there's a like an item for jumping attacks. Ooh, thank you for the potion. Tastes like nothing. Wow. I gotta use my bullets every now and then, I guess. Jesus. Alright, they shoveled my stats, so I probably have less damage. No. <laughs> I have 5 strength. How much did I start with? Or is. No, it has to be strength. What? Give me damage. Oh no, I got ready. I think you actually get rewarded for beating the rooms without getting damage. Invitation? You have been invited to the amphitheater? Nope, 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 here. Uh, they say that the maestro modeled the amphitheater after an actual, after an actual place, a place that was very important to him in his earlier life. However, the past bears no meaning to the amphitheater, in the amphitheater, as the only thing that matters is to its inhabitants to immediate fulfillment. It's immediate fulfillment. I cannot read for shit, I'm sorry. This invitation is only handed out to a few chosen ones. Once the invitation has been opened, one is destined to enter the amphitheater sooner or later. Smith. Ooh. Oh. Can I get both? I can. Uh, let me sell some bullets. I don't need that many. Ah, shit, I didn't have stamina. Shop. Potion, Vistai, Felling Axe. Leo's right eye. If I remember correctly, this was a really nice um, upgrade. Slashing attacks it I have yeah I have a an axe Oh they have they have scaling I see okay this scales with uh strength mostly that's good this is more stamina though this scales with finesse this is a slashing so yeah Leo Spring uh, Leo of the Royal Guard was one of the highest ranking soldiers in the Dawn House army. Many tales are told of, this, of his feats on the battlefield, but more recently he gained reputation as a teacher, mentoring the most promising swordsmen in the army's ranks. Kim Dong Ho also trusted Leo personally to mentor Prince Flynn, who was looking to become one of the greatest swordsmen, swordsmen of the king, that the kingdom has ever seen, had ever seen. Sadly, the mass production of firearms was quickly rendering the art of sword fighting obsolete. I don't really have more money. Wow, I just tanked that to the face. I didn't think it would have a hitbox in me there. Man, I blunder. And that's the boss. Okay. Why must you attack us, dreamer? Nothing awaits you here. You will simply die over and over again until you give up. Shit. I didn't time my fairy correctly. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, let's do one more run. This game is fun. Oh, you have more dialogue. My dear flame, please flicker one moment longer. String into your heart is all that I have. A string into your heart is all that I have. All that keeps me sane. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, okay. You, greetings fellow dreamer. Have you... Manage to collect any tokens yet? The kind salesman will listen your burden in exchange for a few of them. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, let's... Let's actually try this time. Don't get greedy. And be patient. Manage your stamina. And... It should work out in the end. Can fail far... Four. Oh, I see. I lost two finesse, but since the sword scales like equally with both. Okay, that makes sense. Renegade's Blood, Nymphian Heart, Amber Shard. Uh, let's take the Amber Shard. Amber Upgrade Material. Uh, where is it? Here. During its golden wars, during its golden years, various children of seas shower the spirit, the spire with good fortune. Among the divine gifts inhabitants received was an ember material that was meant for crafting shrines and ornaments. Sadly, after the spire's nature changed, the amber was used for crafting tools of war instead. As the amber was used for false purposes, its golden color and condition began quickly dwindling. The amber weapons broke apart and betrayed their waters at a great time during war, resulting in the downfall of the spire. This material is said to be very light, making weapons crafted with it much easier to swing. Okay, so that makes Eddie Magine reduce stamina cost. Okay. What's this? HP for something. Imaginary fruit. Slightly heals whenever progress is made. That's so fucking good though. Um, the common dream is unique in that it has a predetermined form. But it's... Uh, sorry. But it is also affected by the thoughts and experiences of those who are trapped in it. Some, like the first dreamer, have an amplified ability of molding the dream with their imagination. Dying in the dream only sends the dreamer back to the top layer, where the dreamers slowly go insane. The lowest depths of the dream are called the abyss, a place which supposedly holds the, he the, the key to escaping. Sorry! <laughs> the only one who has been speculated to have actually escaped the dream is the great king Dumbo. Okay, how much is a little HP? Ah, oh, that's enough. I press a parry button and I didn't parry. Okay. What's this? Plus one token. Nice. Smith. I can upgrade my weapon. Ooh. I don't have enough bullets. That's a shame. I really wanted to use a great sword, but I also have the material. Uh, okay. Long sword. Wait. Is that my current weapon? Oh yeah, that's like upgraded. Yeah, if you see. Okay. 35. It actually costs more stamina to... What? It's likely heals whenever progress is made. No. Uh, okay, I guess I just cannot see. Okay, no, yeah, it definitely... Yeah. No. <sighs> it also scales better, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Full HP, nice. Ancient fossil. I don't have money for any of this. Lightless leaf. Oracle's blindfold. Sure, let's take the Oracle's blindfold. See enemy held. Uh... Okay. Always by King Dunkle's scythe was the frail oracle. Much of the kingdom's success can be attributed to her, as she would foresee future events, allowing the king to prepare for them. Her origins are unknown, although some have rumored that the king descended into the abyss with a wish of success and prosperity for the kingdom, and came back with her. Hmm. 
Many have tried, but only a few have triumphed. I shouldn't have used that. That was a waste. Man, okay. Whoa! Fucking dog jump scare. I just I that I didn't expect that. Another different boss. Okay. Awake Renegade. Stop the intruder. I'm not timing my dodges correctly. Okay, but it's done, whatever. Uh, potion belt. Potions are more common and always heal slightly. Uh, Necronomicon, as per usual. Here. While the common dream drives most insane, some, some have managed to keep their thought lucid by retaining a purpose or a goal to strive for. One of these is a potion seller who wanders the dream, offering renewing medicine to lost travelers. He is said to have been renowned chemist in Dumbhouse Kingdom, creating performance-enhancing drugs for military purposes. One of the drugs didn't work as intended and led to the death of several soldiers, a scene that most likely is the reason that the chemist was imprisoned in a dream. Despite the possibility of retaining your sanity, there is a certain peace involved with letting your mind get clouded and losing yourself in the dream. Some extra vigor? Plus 25 HP, no, it's just a heal. Make sacrifice to Sataniel. Ooh. Falling Axe, attacks may generate Orblings. While, Nymphias, while Nymphians were plagued by their lucid dreams and deaths related to them, the slow dwindling of population wasn't what ended them. A local lumberjack, driven mad by his dreams, went out at night and took out all the Nymphians. The, the, what the fuck? The Nip knows. The Nip knows. Okay. <laughs> in the bloodiest massacre in history committed by a single man, it is said that a demonic deity visited him, visited him last. I cannot speak properly. It is said that a demonic deity visited him la that night, granting him incredible strength and rage towards Nip knows at the cost of his mind. The term fiend of Nipnos often comes up in these tales, however, it is unclear whether it is used to refer to the lumberjack or the deity that he haunted him. The tales always end by nothing that merely two people survived the killings, twin brothers, who were only children at the time. I couldn't jump. Operate materials have hidden effects that are hardness upon spending them at the blacksmith. Whoa. Oh no, that's mine. Okay, this lumberjack thing seems kind of powerful. Ah. Oh. Well, not so much. Can I? I guess I can just move on. Gold mirror. Cosmic symbol. Sure. Kills generate orblings. Sure. If one were to force their way through the cosmic mind and come in contact with the knowledge within, they would first have to defeat the cosmic gatekeeper. It is described as being so far beyond our scope of reality that only glancing at it would drive a person mad. Writings from the amphitheater indicate that when the, maestro, that when the maestro arrived, first arrived in the common dream, he engaged with the gatekeeper. In fact, it is said that, the, that he still holds a key to the cosmic path, but chooses not to utilize it. Okay. Not that hard, eh? Man, my damage is cracked. Do I still have base stats? Yeah. Lament configuration. Life steal. Holy crap, I'm getting broken. 
A uh, puzzle box that is here and avoided by many, as solving it is said to open a doorway to a dimension inhabited by sadistic, otherworldly creatures. Even possessing the box appears to drive the owner towards violent, sadistic pleasures. The box is claimed to originate from the amphitheater, which is no surprise considering the nature of its inhabitants. Now, what does life still mean? It means like when I kill someone. Uh, I think it's just a random chance. Okay, stop trying to parry. <laughs> uh, Finn of Leviathan, disturbing photo. Sure. Finn of Leviathan. And. Give me a potion. They free me. Finn of Leviathan, what's this? Belongs to a cosmic deity that swims through time and space, devouring everything in its way. One might think that being in a of, that a being of this power would co be colossal in size. However, its typical form has been documented to be no bigger than a large ship. Those who worship it do not worship it out of admiration, but out of fear as a vain attempt of, of pleasing it. Its approach can be felt by many life forms. Years before its arrival in the form of dread and impending doom, these feelings have been said to be strong enough to cause mass suicides, mostly by aquatic creatures voluntarily voluntarily stunning themselves. <sighs> Mucho texto. Okay, yeah, life seal is just attacking enemies, I think. Ooh, it's going gold, that's nice. Uh, I forgot a... Ooh, flintlock rifle. Sure. Damage C, okay. Two seconds, four seconds, stamina cost. Oh, okay. Let's see. I remember those things were like really hard to avoid normally, but I'm kind of broken. Man. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I could have almost died there. Oh no. What's this? Gamble? No? No? Nice use of my money. Okay. Okay. I have never fought this boss. Doesn't seem that hard though. I am almost dead. That being said. But we got it. Wake squeal. Drop rest generates or Jesus Christ. Uh okay. Wake was a famous writer who used a peculiar and unique method of production. Ever since he was a child, he was a compulsive sleep talker, speaking in a very clear poetic manner. His parents mostly ignored it, but when he got married, he insisted that his wife stays up and writes down what he says. To his surprise, the stories were like were liked by editors and released to a great public's acclaim. As Wade kept writing, the stories became increasingly disturbing, eventually completely scaring him off writing. Understandably, he also experienced a severe case of imposter syndrome that caused depression and sadness in his household. Okay. I think I need a an item like a double jump. The quagmire. Giri 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 giri. Oh. Okay. Is 
this. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna die soon. Severed lips. Saint Stone's Wing. Isn't this bigger? Whatever. Absorbs next three hits. Oh, that's kind of strong. Not much is known about the Saint's past, only that he was a respected member of a small clan whose members wore heavy stone wings on their back. Never stopping the divine play, those who survived asked the Saint to lead them. And so the Saint began rebuilding the kingdom as his new king. As time went on, he got closer to the frail oracle who was left in mourning after losing her guardian. He helped her get through the pain, and she continued her role as a royal advisor. Eventually, the two married, and the great ceremony of the kingdom had ever seen. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I don't think I can stun lock them anymore. I already lost my No! I already lost my item. That's unfortunate. Man, this fucking enemies are strong. I go. I need a shop uh, quickly. Ah, oh, two hits, and that also hit me. My God. Okay, I need a potion like ASAP. <sighs> Thank goodness. Feather of seas. Come on, dream. Orblings heal you and deal more damage, that's insane. With how many Orblings I get? You're gonna be kidding me. Uh, where is it? Here. Sometimes before I fall asleep, a fear begins to creep. At this time I count no sheep, instead I start to weep. To flee I need a silver key, but sadly while I'm dreaming, the parasites will know on me until I wake up screaming. You don't have... I thought I had more money. I don't. Okay, that's an insane amount of HP. Holy crap. <laughs> that's an insane amount of HP regen. I, I am full HP. That's fucking stupid. Uh, an Abyss Presence. Uh, Abyss Presences, Cthulhu, Nebanamu, okay, chill. Let's go. I definitely completely cheesed that though. Well, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm a bell. Pairing and taking damage generates or, or I take damage and generate orblings and the orblings regenerate my HP. That's so fucking stupid. Uh, where is it? I'm a bell. Children are sometimes scared into submission with horror stories. One of the more terrible ones describes the witch the Wicked Mother, a demon that brings mistreated dolls into life and orders them to murder their, own their owners. They say this story originates from a poem that a famous writer, Wake, frantically repeated in his sleep to his wife, who wrote it down for him. It may just be collective hysteria, but children all over the kingdom insist that a terrible hag visits them at night, singing the poem to them and playing with their dolls. Oh, yeah. Oh, abyss. So, we already got to the final boss. I need stamina. I need stamina again. 
Man, my frames. What is up with my frames? <laughs> it's getting slower and slower every second. What? Why? Is that a second phase? Okay, at this I am 60 FPS again. I need to use my parries. Fuck! Ah, oh. man, that run was so broken. I. I still couldn't make it work though. I I got lucky and I got carried. That's just, and I I wasn't good, you know. Mm. I got so carried that round. Like holy crap! I got so many HP regeneration stuff. God, and ugh, kind of insane. Um. Yeah, no, no, no. That that was fucking naughty. Holy. Uh, I clearly beat the f but I don't think it was a final boss, but pretty close. Uh, I never got past that. I remember in my first series it took me like five episodes to get there. And once I got to the final, to that boss, I, I died. You know? As you do. And god, that, that was rough. That was really rough. But anyway. Uh, that's a... Well, I wouldn't call it a sneak peek because it was 30 minutes long, but that's a nice little start to the series. You know, I don't really mind if the first episode of a series is like decently long. Uh, but for the future, they are not gonna be that long. I uh, imagine Vampire Survivor's length, like maybe 15 20 minutes. Uh, unless I get lucky. But until then, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to do the usual like, comment, subscribe, and follow for more. Uh, do really let me know if you want to see more. Uh, I will probably do more regardless, but I still appreciate like the support and the usual. But until then, that's everything for me. Bye-bye!